Hello everybody and welcome back for another game we need to check out. Today we will be playing Scarlet Tower and this is a Bullet Heaven game um, and it was released for 1.0 and I was fortunate enough to get the key from the developers themselves. So let's go check out if is this game uh, and a good if they added a bunch of stuff in early access and what's going on. So let's go start a game. And we have some things to choose from. We get the we get the violent as a bloodmancer, elementalist, Reese as a paladin, Alur as a smith, and we get the many more to go through. Oh god! So let's go for the paladin. I think that that sounds crazy good. Okay, uh, select one. So we got ultimate. Uh, Fizz receive a blessing from the heavens to double his maximum health, physical and magical damage, physical and magical defense, a critical chance. Okay. Uh, passives, so we got Consecration, uh, each hit has 5% chance to consecrate the ground, that's kinda cool. Uh, or a passive every 25 seconds among three heavenly swords to judge your enemies. I think I will go with a little bit of Consecration. And then we have a Glyphs, God Touch, allies with the area Consecration cannot suffer fatal damage. Allies with the area of Consecration, okay, this will change the things? E judgments are all, oh, okay, okay, okay. So allies with the Consecration have their physical and magical damage increased by 20%. Uh, allies within the area of Consecration regenerate. Or allies with the area uh, can get fatal damage. Let's go with this one. Magical damage increased by 20%. Just, you know, go for a little bit of damage. Oh, uh, uh, let's go back. There are some things, right? Talents. Oh my god. There is, there is quite a lot. Grants 5% chance to apply freeze hits. Mm. Grants 1% chance to summon an undead. <laughs> Let's go. Paladin dead su summoning undead? I want to see that. Increase maximum health. Chance to drain health. Or a generate shockwave to push enemies away. No, let's go for a little bit of more health. What else? Unlockables. Okay. Power ups. So we can spend gold to get some st some some things. Oh, gathering range! I always oh I got a l quite a lot of gold. So let's go, you know, spend it. Increase the value received when collecting gold. I can go two times, but attack speed, love it. Critical damage, cooldown reduction. Let's go three times. Uh, let's go physical power. Let's go magical power. Let's go a little bit of armor. Let's a little bit of magical armor. HP, why not? And I think that's good. Luck. Yeah, why not? Good. I don't know what I what. Yeah, I spent quite a lot. Humans, elves, vampires, and demons. A racial trait. Oh, because each of them is, uh, is a different. Okay. Then familiars. Runes! What the hell? There is so many! Use! Can I? I don't even know. Collect runes by exploring the map. Oh, I can buy it. Encyclopedia. And there is exchange. Okay, let's go for the map. Let's go for the map and we will start there. So we got the first map. Nightwine Valley. And corruption level, we are on one. Let's go play. Scarlet Sword Bloodmancer, Crimson Ride Bloodmancer. What the? It's just incredible how many. Before I'll do anything, the sound feels like it's too much. So, we will just lower it. Just lower it a little bit. Tiny. Okay. Auto aim on. Okay, let's do it for now. Ooh, we are throwing hammers. On the music kind of slashing, so I, I think it's just different. Uh, in the menu, it sounded horrendously loud. Here it's okay, so let's go like that. Uh, occultism or a glorious grace or bloodmancer. Someone has shadow aura around you. No, whatever an, an ally joins you, your physical magical power increased by 1% up to maximum 50%. Each occultism point provides. Let's go this one. We are summoning spirits, so maybe that will help. 
uh, loyalty. Each fate point provides phys physical power, maximum health, and attack speed and luck. Each fate point. Ah, those are faint ones. Okay, let's go with those. Hammer's returning. I love to see that. Okay, more. Holy Spear. It's a paladin. Or pil pilgrimage staff is a priest. Or we can go loyalty. Each person provides armor, movement speed, and gathering range. No, let's go shoot a Holy Spear every five seconds. Sounds fantastic. You know, go for a little bit of... Oh my god, I'm kind of like slashing. Look at that. How much damage I'm doing. Paladin. Glorious... Whatever your ally joins you. Okay, we got quite a lot of allies, so why not? Alright, we got only two weapons now. But we should be fine. Paladin, increase damage by 25. Or I can go with a Sanctified Paladin. Your spirit is increased by 20%. Spirit increase effectiveness of healing and shields. No, let's go with uh, a little bit better spears. Shall we? Alright, exploration. Oh, there is something on the minimap. Maybe you can't see it well. But here it is. What is that? The... Not sure what happened. <laughs> Maybe we got a bunch of XP. You are healed for 10% of the damage suffered by allies. And allies are healed for 10% of damage received by you. Divine ties, okay. We need more allies. That that's what I think. So if there will be summoning more allies, I need to get it. Summon a shadow aura around you. The aura deals damage. Every fifth throw a wild holy water. Another ally join you, your physical I don't know what will happen when I upgrade it to the max, so I will go with that. And I feel that I'm good with the three powers just just now, or well, two too well. All right, consecration. Oh, there are more and more. We fine. Increase damage. Increase knockback. Hammer of justice. I kind of like that. Those hammers. I want to uh, upgrade those hammers because maybe the next one will be that there will be more hammers or something and that would help a lot. Holy Spear. Alright, let's go with the Holy Spear. I would love Consecration to do damage. All right, we got this one. That's two projectiles. Wow, that's just too good not to take because we will be throwing three spears. Oh, I got hit. Okay. Glorious Glade, um, again. Each fate point increases the physical power, maximum health, and attack speed. Yeah, this, this is good. Oh no, fate. Uh, each fate point increase. Okay, so this is just... I thought it's um, with other spells of the same kind, but it's not. It's a talent named fate. But that's okay. A little bit of HP plus and then, you know, some, some other stuff. Also good. Okay. Loyalty. Paladin. You are healed for 16% of the damage suffered by allies. And allies are healed. That's the same thing that I have, but it, yeah. Next level. Each point... I I don't know. Okay, let's go for it. 
Hopefully they're doing something and maybe they're healing me a little bit. Oh, 70. What? What? I'm getting healed quite a lot. That's an ultimate? Oh no, I still have... Okay, that was the ultimate. And two more projectiles, that's just so good. I'll be throwing a lot of spears around. Okay. Taking a, as much as possible, you know, to level up. Shoot fireballs, increase range. I don't know if their range is cool enough. Because I want them to return back eventually. Divine Ties. No, increase damage by 20 and knocking plus 150. If they will, they will be really close, I can like make a distance with the hammers. Every 14 seconds, summon a Holy Bible to orbit your body for 7 seconds, dealing 5 damage. I think that's what we need, even though this would be amazing. I will go with the third weapon. Ouch. Every 14 seconds, summon three darkness spirits around you. Again? Okay. Let's go with the with the summoning, right? We got the quite a lot of upgrades that that saying that if I summon, so All right, we are getting to the point that we are really doing a lot of damage. Each paw each faint. Yep. Go with that. A little, bit, a little bit of increase of my stats. Oh, there is a dice on the ground. I don't know what this do, but we have it. That's a reroll, maybe. Food. Okay. This is what? Oh yeah, that's uh, that's um, eight um, experience points. Circle of light. When standing still for two seconds, create a circle of light. I don't like that. But Blood Mance again, a shield would be awesome. But increase damage of the Holy Bible? Yeah, let's let's do that. Summon Shadow Aura. Increase projectile by two. No, increase the projectile velocity. Yeah, this is kinda nice, the orbiting around me. But on the other hand, it's not that I am summoning those, right? I don't know if that counts towards the perk that I uh, picked before. Okay, projectile increased. As long as you have shield, your health regeneration increased. That's kind of cool, but no. Let's go for Blood Mancer and we will go with uh, more of those balls around us, I guess. Okay, do we have something cool? There is something fire. Ooh, new enemies. Drains, damage. Elementalis, create blast hellfire. All at 40% health or less during the night, increase HP regen. Let's go rerolled. Smith, okay, no. Whenever an uh, ally joins you, your physical and magical ball increase by 1% up to maximum 150%. I am not sure. Like, I'm picking that, but I don't know what is that the allies will join me. What the hell? Is this this, this these guys? If so, it's kind of cool. Thunderstaff. Take no more. Thunder stuff sounds crazy good. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I see some thunderbolts, so it's good. Need that. Increase radius? No, increase the duration and add two projectiles. Love that. So there is a dollar sign. Oh yeah, there is a, some guy that we can buy from. What the hell? Okay. Increase your HP by 350 this run. Does not take up inventory space. Oh, but it's for skulls and not for money. Okay. Oh, we can buy only one thing. Interesting. Okay. Oh, there is a treasure chest. And there is another one. What the hell? So many treasure chests. Loyalty. Fate. Nice. Let's take that. Oh, there is another one. Let's go. Another fate. Right from the get-go, I like that there is a lot of happening on the map. Uh, increased damage and knockback. Yep. Why not? Let's max it out. I don't know if I can evolve it somehow or something like that. What the hell is this? Save the civilians from the cor- Oh, that's brilliant. Let's go. That's exactly what you want. Get the quest. You have something to do. You will move on the map. You return back. Okay. That's what we got. All right. So you're breaking the monotony of running around and collecting, you know. I love it. All right, do we have it? Now. Let's move. Level up. What do we have? Your spirit is increased by 20. Mm-hmm. Freeze depletes minus final. Maximum health will be affected by frost fire. No. Each Preservance point provides armor, critical damage, movement speed, and gathering range. No, let's, say, let's go for sacrifice. And we got it. That's an ally. What the hell? Now I see it. That's an ally. Right? So that's huge boost to our uh, damage output and everything. Because we got a lot of things that it's uh, scaling from the allies. Look at that. Is there another one? I didn't know that that is a thing. Add two projectiles to the thunder staff or increase duration and add two more projectiles. Okay, we are going with this first. All right, collect those potions. He needs a lot. My man. He just won all the potions for himself. Faith increase. Physical power. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that good. Your spirit is increased. Do we have... Oh, we got two allies. Oh, we are slashing them so much. Can go for level 6. Hmm. Earn us 5% chance to apply a living bomb. No, let's go for loyalty. Get, getting some money. Some skulls in the process. So, where else to go? There is a fire on our right side. Okay, that's uh, that's health. It's like camp experience. Oh, maybe not. I don't know what is that circle. All right. Drains one percent of the damage dealt to enemies with twenty-five percent or less. Oh, let's go add two more projectiles. Two more thunderbolts. More health, but we don't need it, kinda. 
Yep, decrease the cooldown by two seconds. That's OP. What do we have here? Alright, so it's like short-term thing that is damaging the enemies and helping us in different ways. For example, this one is doing the earth damage. Let's go check out the other one. This one is what? It's just like bubble and they can't get inside. Is that what it is? Shoots ectoplasm. No, let's go each point of fate. Just scaling. There is a reroll dice. There is something on the left side and the shop on the right. So let's go to the left first. What is that? Uh, I can't interact with this. Divine Ties. You're healed for 30% of the suffer by allies. Yeah, this one is nice. Now I have two allies, so this is something that I can heal myself and some some other stuff. Elemental is rising. Frostfire now create an area that deals 200 magic damage. On when stealing still? No. Let's go with faith. Circle of light. I don't want to stand still. This is something that I not do, so. Let's go to the right. There was a shop. Next time, if that will show up, I will banish it. That's what I will do. Shows icy shards. No. Let's go this one. Spirit increase. Let's go check out the shop. Can I? Oh. Seven thousand. God damn it, I can't have any of those. Unfortunate. We need new stuff. Oh, what is on the right side? And... Oh. What a change of approach, guys. Stop it. Oh, nice. Now I'm standing on the place. Maybe I should have taken the other stuff. Nice, we got another pardon. Let's go. Oh, there is an egg. There is a hand. As long as you have shield, your health regeneration increase. That's fun is good. Um, but no. Because this is better. And we don't have the shield. And let's go interact. 5,000? Every 10 seconds create a frost sword that deals 200 damage every zero and chill enemies. Nice. That's the last weapon. Alright. We are kinda killing them. Easily. A lot of gems everywhere. Bleed has 10% chance to apply it three times at once. We don't have any bleed. Faith. Or reroll. What I'm going for. Let's go 10. Oh yeah, now I maybe should reroll because of the sword. To upgrade it a little, maybe that will give me, give me a huge boost. Any sort of physical damage now has chance to apply bleed. Okay, so now we have the bleed. Even though... 
Okay, I got four attacks all of the physical. Add three more projectiles, and we are done with the with this one. Yep. More lightning bolts. And we are on the move. We want to explore. Uh, there is a shop. Well, the shop is kind of like pointless. And I'm healing so goddamn much. It's incredible. Because I got the allies, they're doing damage and healing me, and I'm doing damage and healing them. It's like, yeah, we are kind of brothers in this in this fight. We are kind of like here for each other. Look at that, how many enemies coming for our for our for us. Okay, reduce cooldown by three seconds. That sounds great. More swords on the scene. Oh. But I'm getting hit as well. Phew. Okay. What with this? Nice. Razial Tome. Paladin and Elementalist. Every 10 seconds summon the Razial Tome to orbit your body. Just... Oh, it's... Cons what the f sir who are you and what do you want ouch ouch let's activate my superpower and we are in the circles where something's supposed to happen oh there are druids oh no Oh no! I'm looking for the elf in the forest. That's something that you can't really do easily. Increase radius. Or more bleed. Let's go for more bleed. Where is the elf? I feel that we are super close but super far at the same time. <laughs> I can't find the elf! What the hell? Oh, we killed him. Hmm. That's good. Sanctified. Your spirit is increased. Healing and shield. Yeah, but we don't have the shield. That's something we should work on. I'm still looking for the elf. There is a treasure chest. Increased damage by 10. Oh, yes. Increase projectile velocity. Love to see that. Velocity is nice. But I still... Can't find the elf. Oh, that is a treasure chest. Whoo! Okay, we got this one, right? Increase damage by six, 165. Someone's holy thunders on enemies. Ball deals 300. What the? We can take all. Oh, one of those. Mm. 
and increase damage by 160, summon holy thunders enemies every 10 seconds. So we are maxed out in, on this weapon. I think the the elf will be displeased by my timing. Because it feels that, uh, you know, and I'm a little bit late to finding him. On the other hand, I think he knew, he know that I am here. Look at the amount of spells that I'm casting in this forest. He, he could be like really pissed about this. Like what the hell is going on there? Uh, but no, he will not come look for me. Because it feels that I need to come uh, look for him. All right. I don't know what exactly to do with this this item. Just need to be uh, close. Increase damage by 50. It's kind of good enough. There is a treasure chest. I'm all about that. Someone shadow aura around you. All right. Let's go and take Shadow Aura. So, now I... I am still pissed about the elf. Am I literally blind? I, I feel that I've run in this forest. In this circle that you can see kind of behind me. And there were two circles, right? There were two. And on both of them, in the middle, was the, the elf, like the, the picture. And I found one. And standing still, no. Let's go reroll. Right? We got quite a lot of those. Increase damage by 500. That's a good deal. And there are two treasure chests. What the... Can I take all? Yep. I don't know how long I need to survive. Oh, there is it! There it is! Oh, I don't know what I got from it, but hopefully it was worth it. Because it literally took me ages. I love the uh, idea that the crystals go, like going together. 500, another one. The, the cloak around? That's such a small area. There is another egg. I don't know what our eggs for, but... We got them. We got two, I think. Nice. Level up. Increase damage and velocity. Should I go... And take uh, the, the shop, I guess, right? I lose 200 shards. I would love to have something like a magnet. <laughs> because I feel that I'm missing so many of those crystals. Increase the thick rate. Any source of physical damage now has 15% chance to apply bleed. Also good. But you know what? Let's let's max out our weapons. Oh my god. There is someone on me. And uh, I think he don't appreciate my well-being. So you know what? We should pretty much do something about it. While at 40% or less... During the night, increase the HP regen. No, let's go increase damage in area. 
Okay, we got him. Right? Victory! Let's go! So we were victorious. Holy Spear, absolutely different league. Brazil Tome, Hammer of Justice, Brazil Thunder, okay. Consecration, oh, it's doing some damage, okay. Frost Sword, Beacon of Light, Holy Bible, nothing. Corruption Crown, Thunder Staff, Necromancy, and a Crimson Knight. All right. Play again. Beacon of Light, yeah, that, that, that hell healed us quite a lot. So, main menu. Let's go main menu and we unlock quite a lot of things so for for um for the gems we can unlock new things what the hell am i crazy that i can almost unlock everything i don't know if i should like talents are great so for sure i will go with those i can unlock all <laughs> so we got all talents and I think I played this game as a demo, like before, and that for that reason I have some money and, and some stuff uh, stuck. Because I don't remember that. It's supposed to be a long time, I guess. Power-ups. That was a dark accord. So we can upgrade those guys, but we have not done it. So the, another thing that we can... Oh, Undine! 20,000 increase attack speed by 2% and drones that is quite a lot of other systems that I have not delved into and this is this is yeah this was a scarlet tower hope you enjoyed god damn the audio in the menu they should work on that that's a different kind of beast than in the in the um, in the game. So yeah, that was Scarlet Tower. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want love to check out yourself, you can click on the uh, link in the description. There is a link to the Steam and you can play yourself. Or you can uh, meantime check some more videos that I had prepared for you. And that's about it. Thank you very much for your attention. And you can hit the subscribe button not to miss out on any new videos that I will post in the future. That's it. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Peace.